Hello everyone, in this video we will be learning about how to precisely calculate and blender in chess. <laughs> no, just kidding. We will be solving a very interesting chess puzzle which was composed by a very prominent chess composer Karl Pebble all the way from Germany. So the condition of this puzzle is white to move and not checkmate in one. You can pause the video if you want to solve it by yourself, but I know you won't. So let's proceed. We can see that the king is trapped, cannot go to any of the squares because of this white pawns guarding the square. So the king is only one check away to get checkmate. For the white pieces, we can see that the pawns, the rook, the bishop and the king are all stuck. Although this king looks like it's free, but it's not free. It's been smothered with love by the bishop of c5 and rook of b7, so it's stuck. Most white pieces are stuck, except to the rook, the bishop and these two knights. So we need to find the solution using these available pieces. Let's first start with these two knights of d1 and f1. So the legal square where the knights can go are c3, f2, d2, g3. If we play the knights to any of this square, it will result in a very beautiful checkmate. But remember, that's not what we are here for, right? We are here to do the opposite. White to move and blunder in one. So do not forget. So knights are not the answer. What about the bishop? The bishop has one and the only move is to take down this rook in front of him. If he succeeds to do so, then it will again result in checkmate. So the bishop is not the answer, the knights are not the answer, then is it the rook g6? Can this rook help us win? Yes, it can. The only winning move for us and losing move for white pieces is rook to c6. Now it's a discovered check by the bishop which then gets knocked out by this angry rook of b7. Now congratulations everyone, we have successfully solved the puzzle and learned how to calculate the blunder. And for those who might be wondering like why we have to play rook c6 particularly and not any other square where rook can possibly go because if rook goes to any square other than c6 let's say if we play rook to f6 then it's a discovered checkmate by bishop at 7 now the rook cannot capture the bishop because it's currently pinned by the bishop of a8 hence we played rook to c6 releasing the pin on the rook so that's it i hope you enjoyed the video so please do not forget to like share comment subscribe and smash the bell icon for more interesting chess puzzle thank you